Hello everybody and welcome. I'm that gardening guy. Uh, seeing as how this is my first video, I just want to give myself a little bit of an intro. I'm a novice gardener. I started about a year back and what started as just a way to save a little bit of money turned into something that I've had quite a bit of fun with uh, to the point where this year I'm expanding the garden a bit more. Hopefully in later videos we'll get to take a look at it. And what I want to do is I am hoping I can be there for that gardener that's just starting out. A lot more people are getting into home gardens. Uh, be they just the raised beds or some people have little patio gardens and they're great for saving money they're also a great little hobby to have but a lot of times uh, people just really don't know exactly what they're doing I'll admit I was kind of in that boat about a year back I had a grandfather that taught me quite a bit but even as such it had been quite a while since I had done anything like that so I had to go around the internet find myself some quick little tips and tricks and I turned out a uh, what, I, what I consider to be a pretty respectable garden so what I want to do is I just want to show you guys all the little tips and tricks from planting the seed to harvesting to collecting seeds for the next year and hopefully I'll save you a little bit of money along the way since that's the idea of this whole thing. What I'm going to start out today with is the egg carton greenhouse. I know it seems a little strange but I'm going to show you essentially the effect we're hoping to recreate. I have here the Planters Pride 20 pellet greenhouse kit. It's a fantastic product. It really is. I'm not knocking it. It works very well. Uh, the reason I have a lot of these is my grandpa had a lot of these in his cellar. He asked me if I wanted them, and I did. They, they work very well. As you can see here, I've got a little tomato plant going here. I have some brandywine tomatoes on this side, some romas. It'll be interesting to see them through the year. Hopefully, you'll get to see a bit more of them. And the only problem I have with this product, though, is the price. Each tray new costs about $10 a piece. Uh, if you want to get new pellets every year, you can reuse them, but generally they start to disintegrate. They get to be a big mess. So you want to buy new pellets from year to year, and already that's quite a bit out, and that's only if you want to do 20 plants. Some people need more. So what I want to do is I basically want to recreate that effect. You can see it works very well. You have the condensation on the lid. It really is doing a fantastic job of simulating the greenhouse. What I want to do is do that same thing with everyday items around the house and for a much cheaper cost. And here is my alternative to it. Granted, it doesn't look as pretty, but it is the egg carton greenhouse. And I'll show you a little bit more up close of what it is. Just your standard egg carton, the cut's been to or top's been cut off, and you have a little Ziploc bag that's been cut serving as a plastic layer. It really does work well. I wish I'd put out some that I could show you how much the condensation actually catches. But here you are. I have little holes poked in the bottom so that it can drain and the roots, if need be, can go out the bottom. And what I'm going to show you is how you can make these. To start out, take your egg carton, make sure it's empty and wash out if need be. And what you want to do is flip it over, and you just want to poke two holes in each little egg container slot, whatever you want to call it. I don't have to be too ceremonious about it, just real fast. And all this does is it lets the water drain, keeps it so that the roots don't rot. And generally, you're not going to have them in here long enough if that's going to happen, but you're probably going to want to reuse them over the years. So here you go, you have two little holes in each. Very simple, that's so much for the easy part. The next thing we want to do is we want to undo the lid. Keep in mind, we want to keep all of this intact, this little locking mechanism here. You want to keep those tabs intact. If you cut those, you can probably try to retape them, but it's just a good idea to be careful from the beginning. And here's where the knife comes in. You want to cut a little, little notch right here, right off of the edge on the top. Get a little starting hole. Basically that is, because if you were to just try to shove the scissors in here, it would be a terrible mess. Actually, I'll tell you what, this is where... No, I'll use the scissors. thought I was actually going to let me slide all the way around, but yeah, you never know. So what you want to do is just start it out. Now you've got a little starting hole here. You want to just cut as evenly as possible. Try not to get too far away from the top. You want to cut all the way around the edge. So here we are. We have it cut. We have the hole in the lid and the locking mechanism is still intact. And that's very important. The next step, and this is where things start to get a little more tricky. You want to take your Ziploc bag, just a standard Ziploc bag, open it up, and you see we want to be cutting along those little lines right here, just that little crease. So, and Now we have the covering that's going to keep in all the moisture for us, and that is obviously very important. So what you want to do is you first want to take some scotch tape, or not scotch tape, masking tape, scotch tape if you have it, I guess that works just the same. You want to cut a little piece that's just a nice square. I think I have one inch thickness here, so kind of a square piece here. 
And at the front, you want to take a piece of it here, line it up perfectly at the crease, because you're going to want to center this. If you have too much or not enough on one side, it's going to be uh, quite a mess. So attach right here, but make sure you don't put the plastic low enough that it gets in the way of the tabs. And what I mean is if you have the plastic covering this, it's going to be a little bit harder for that tab to pop through. So right here we've got it just about like this. Uh, you can adjust it if you need to, and if a little bit of plastic, if a little bit of tape goes over into the top, don't worry, it's not going to block enough light for it to be a problem. So from here, I'm going to. I've already pre-cut the pieces, so just to make this a little faster, I'm going to want to do the same thing on the side of both tabs. Now that we have that kind of locked into place, we have we can pull it a little bit more taut. And what we want to do here, before we move on. Just kind of close it up so it has a bit of, so you can pull this end a little tighter and cut right about this far from. You want to have enough you can tape down. I'm not, uh, there's about half an inch, half an inch of length here from the top. Just let it slip right down that line there. Like I said, if it gets a little crisscrossed and zigzag, not too much of a problem. It's going to be taped down anyway. Then what you want to do is you want to do the exact same thing to the back. Three little pieces of tape, try to line them up center. You want it to be pretty taut, but you don't want it to be over tight so that this starts to move in like this. It starts to just to be a problem. Now here we go, just put two right on the ends here. One. And Too. You can fold it around the bottom if you need to and fold that tape up under it. And now you've essentially got the basic outline of the eggshell greenhouse. You see there's these little tabs left on the side here and uh, there's really they don't make that much of a difference but if you want it to look prettier that's up to you. You can just take a little bit off. I've already cut some pieces and you can just cut pieces of tape that'll flip right around and yeah, just go right around on the corner here. They keep that held down, keep it in place. Now we have this all taped down, we have our egg carton greenhouse. And within the next video, hopefully, I'll be showing you how to start tomato plants and pepper plants. And you'll notice that I really don't do, you'll notice that I don't do uh, too many exotic plants, really. I stick to pretty much what you can find in your standard garden, which is pumpkins, tomatoes, peppers, anything that I grow. Maybe a little bit of corn this year. This will be my first year with that, so I'll learn right along with you guys. Anyway, uh, this is the egg carton greenhouse. have some others here, and I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, happy gardening and good luck.